Hi, in this video I'll show you exactly how to set up Visual Studio Code for building and debugging C++ programs. Uh, to get started we first need to do a couple of things. Uh, first we have to install Visual Studio Code and the C++ C++ extension. This extension uh, will be used for debugging and IntelliSense in our C++ programs. You can uh, get these things by following these two links. Next uh, we have to also install MinGW. Uh, it contains the C++ compiler called G++ and the C++ debugger called GDB. You can install MinGW by following this link. Also, make sure to install MinGW in a path that doesn't contain spaces. For example, if you install it in program files, uh, MinGW can have uh, issues with this space. So I installed it directly on the C drive. After completing this, we have to add the BIM folder that is inside of our MinGW installation to the path environment variable uh, so that we can execute uh, the programs from MinGW without the need to specify the entire path to the program. So, for example, if I type in in command prompt g++ dash dash version G++ will not be recognized uh, as a program. So uh, let's uh, add the bin folder to the path environment variable by uh, searching for environment in the window search. And let's edit the user variable path. Click on edit and let's now find the bin folder here and then MinGW and here it is. As you can see uh, G++ and GDB programs are here. So let's copy this path. Now click on new, paste it, click OK, then again OK. Let's run CMD again and let's repeat the command G++ dash dash version and as you can see, G++ command is now successfully executed. Now uh, let's open our project folder by clicking on Open Folder. Let's select Tutorial Project that I've created previously. Uh, don't save the changes here. And uh, let's configure IntelliSense in our C++ extension. Let's go to View, Command Palette, and let's type C++ Edit. Uh, and let's select the UI version of this command. Now uh, let's specify the compiler path for our G++ compiler. The path to our G++ can be selected by uh, holding the Shift key and right-clicking on gplus.exe and now let's select copy as path and let's paste it here but without the quotes down below for the IntelliSense mode we will select GCC64 as you can see in our folder uh, the C the cpp properties.json file is created and it reflects all the changes that we've made for the compiler path and for the IntelliSense mode. Now uh, we are ready to create our first C++ uh, program. So let's create a main.cpp file. Let's make a program that prints the sum of two numbers on the terminal. We should start it uh, by including the iostream standard library. Please notice when I start typing how IntelliSense offers us code completion.
To build our program, we should create a build task for it. To do it, uh, let's go to Terminal and then Configure Tasks. Now let's select Create Tasks.json file from template and then go to Others. Here uh, we can specify our task. Uh, for label, let's just type in build. And for the command, we should enter G++. This G++ command can have several command line arguments. Let's define them. The first argument will be dash "-o". And then the name of the executable file that will be created after the build. I will just name it main. The third argument is minus "-g". Uh, this is useful for creating debugging information, which will be useful when we debug our program. And the last argument is just main.cpp file. Also, uh, we should put our task in a group. And that group will be the default build group here. Let's save the tasks.json file. And now we are ready to build our program. Let's go to terminal and then run build task. And uh, we didn't get any errors. And our main.exe file is created. Let's try to run it by typing dot forward slash main.exe. And the output is 5 as we expect uh, from the sum of these two numbers. Let's also try to debug our program. Uh, for that to work, we have to make a debug configuration. So let's just go to debug and then add configuration. Here let's select GDB and then the default configuration. Here we have to make some changes. Uh, for the program name, instead of a.exe, we must enter main.exe. We also have to specify the debugger path, or the path to GDB. Let me quickly copy that path. And let me quickly paste it here. We also must escape the backslash characters. If you want to select the next occurrence of the backslash characters, you can just hit Ctrl D. And now it's really easy to add double backslashes. Let's save our launch.json file and we are ready to start our debugging session. But first let's uh, create a breakpoint at the line 7 so our program stops here. And let's go to debug and start debugging. And as we expect our program stopped at the breakpoint we can step through our program by hitting F10 and as you can see on the left side the values change for our variables. And after we cross this line a 5 will be shown here in the terminal. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you understood how to build and debug simple C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. Please give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe if you like to see more content like this in the future. See you in the next one.